Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another demonstration today. We are going to be using some of the stamps that were featured on Create and Craft. So I've got the same colours, I've got uh, the, some of the elements ink, some of the versifying clairs, we've got stencil brushes, we've got a stencil. So um, yeah, using the same products just to give you an idea of what, what else you can do with them. So I have got some watercolour card and I'm going to make a start with our little berry wreath. So I'm going to ink up first of all in the Nocturne. So let's just pop that over the top. And we're going to pop that down round about the centre, I think, of the card. So give that a good press down and then what I'm going to do is just move it slightly and get that second impression which gives it a nice bit of depth. I'm going to ink up again. I'm going to stamp off and I'm going to follow a little bit more of the wreath at the top of the card there. So it's kind of doing this shape. And now we're going to move on to our mini stamp. This is our mini um, holly. And I'm going to ink up in the golden meadow, which is, it's, it's kind of like an in-between between a yellow and a green. It's a fabulous colour, one of my favourites, as I'm sure you've heard me mention before. And all I'm going to do is just build that up. I don't want it to be too dark because I'm stamping already over the top of black. So I need it to remain quite light, really. You can see that is absolutely fabulous. That colour is just gorgeous. So again, I'm just taking off, keeping it nice and light. Hard to know sometimes when to stop, isn't it? Just a few more. Okay. So I'm going to move on to our berry stamp as well, which comes in the set on the uh, Create and Craft. And I'm going to ink the berry up in the blue. So this is Warm Breeze which is a really lovely, delicate blue. And again, I don't want that colour to be too strong. So I am taking off a lot. So just build it up. And that's what's fabulous about reeds. I really enjoy just building up different colours and textures and making them into something really unique, something different every time as well. That's what's so fabulous about working with mini stamps, so much you can do with them. Okay, so that looked really quite pretty and I've only used three stamps there. Let's pop the lid on that. Now we've got the lovely tear. So let's ink her up this time in Nocturne. So we want tear to stand out 
um, and that's why I'm inking her up in the black and I'm going to pop her down as though she's sitting on the wreath so let's give that a good press remembering it's watercolour card so it needs a little bit longer just to soak in because it's a little bit more fibrous there we go now we're going to go back to warm breeze and I'm going to use our lovely Christmas words I'll take off first. I only want this to be very much in the background, very subtle. There we go. Okay, so now I want to bring in a little bit more depth. So I'm going to ink up using the Della Blue, use my stencil brush. And I'm just going to bring that little bit of depth down the edge. Build up your colour gradually, don't be tempted to put too much on too soon. Okay, now I have got a smaller stencil brush here and I might just I might just ground tear, so I need a little bit of depth just under her bum so it looks like she is properly sitting on that wreath. bit over the top, a few little speckles. And then lastly I'm going to pop our uh, glue pen, I'm going to pop a few little dots around following that wreath. Just do a few little dots coming down. Like so. And then let's pop some of this lovely holographic glitter over the top. Tap 
that off. And there we have it. So I really enjoyed creating that. As I say, I love doing wreaths. It's all about the layers and the colours, building it up gradually. It's really quite a lot of fun. I hope that you've enjoyed today's demonstration. Thanks so much for watching. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.